how do my buns look? I think they look pretty good. All right, we're ready to go then. Just made it to the main trail. I'm gonna go out to this glassing point and see if I can see anything down in this lower basin. Little oh, baby cub. <clears throat> All right, me and Bryson are just hiking in right now. We're about four miles in, and we just ran into a big old black sow and two cubs right there. And now we're doing some glassing. We spotted some bulls down canyon. So, what do you think, Bryson? I think it's off to a good spooky start. It's off to a spooky start. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can turn up two chains or any of those big daddies. Alright, we're ready to go. Alright, we got camp set up. Heading out to the glassing spot. So I went over there around the corner there because we spooked something when we were walking down and we thought it was a deer because we heard it breaking sticks through the trees. So I'm sitting there just mid dump. Here comes a freaking chocolate bear hauling ass down the ridge and I'm scared shitless, literally. <laughs> I wish I had it on video. It's the morning of day two, me and Bryson are out here. And uh, yeah, it's the first time we haven't brought a pistol in here. And now we've seen four bears within 100 yards. And a sketchy dude, so yeah. We're sitting on uh, what we call the second basin. And we got a bull bugling right over in this timber right here. And he just had a good chuckle on him. Sounded like a big old bruiser. But yeah, that's exactly where we were last year when we saw the fireball go through the trees. There we go, baby. They're screaming. He doesn't sound like he's very far away. We're going to creep over there and try and get a good video of him. This is where Joe killed his bull last year. A uh, big windstorm last year. I think it took down a bunch of these trees. There's a bull somewhere within a few hundred yards of us. Bryson are just dropping in to get some water and uh, we got a trail camera down here. Can't wait to check it. So we'll have to show you guys. We called that bull in to 50 yards. Freaking badass. the water. Let's fill up our water bottles and hike her back up the mountain. All the way back up to camp. It's about, I don't know, 800 feet, 1,000 vertical feet. It's worth it for some fresh, clean water. There's a lot less water than there was last year. Last year there was a couple bulls hanging out 
right here. And this year it's pretty dry. There's a couple elk tracks and my trail camera is over there. So we're gonna go check that. Hopefully there's some big old bulls on it. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of tracks in here. Here we go. camera and there's some wolves and some elk and some moose and now we're gonna fill up the waters so uh, Bry <laughs> Bryson couldn't find Brennan's bladder so we're improvising what do you think I think it beats the hell out of buying those $40 fucking water things So we had some guys walk by our camp and uh, he had trail cameras of the bull we called in this morning. And tomorrow morning they said they're gonna go down right where we're gonna go. Yep, and he's been scouting this area, he said for a little over a month where that bull was, so. He's not spooked or anything, so hopefully we can get him tomorrow. We're gonna make our mountain houses and get to bed early tonight so we can go hard all day tomorrow. And if we mess up on him, we're gonna drop down we put a truck on the other side of the mountain range and we're just gonna hunt all the way through. She's boiling, boys. That's hot. Let's see how it looks in there. This looks like water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should be a good morning. Stars are out. Nothing's talking right now, so me and Bryson are gonna pack up our camp and we're gonna head another probably six miles down the drainage. All right, we got camp packed up. That guy had a trail camera and I guess there was a pack of 10 wolves that came through and that might be the reason they're not talking much. Got Bryson's truck parked at the other end, so we'll see. Let's go get him. And we're just coming up and we're getting pretty smoked now because we have our our whole camp on our backs, but <clears throat> we're gonna work our way down this ridge and hopefully that's where all the bulls are at. Stuff's pretty nasty. Got another mile to go until we're at the spot we think there's gonna be some bulls. But yeah, we went about a quarter mile, haven't touched the ground yet. It is just all blow down. So this is gonna take a while. Ah, easy there, Buster. Nothing. Just nothing. If you guys need a secret spot, let me know. This place is pretty good. <laughs> pretty secret. I don't think you'll find anyone in here ever. Haven't been really touching the ground too much. But we found a boulder, a big boulder. <laughs> I like this boulder. We might be setting up camp right here. <laughs> on this boulder. And where we gotta go. This is us not hearing anything. Not seeing anything. Not smelling anything. <laughs> we just found the bridge. Nobody's been on it in forever because there's down trees on it. That's kind of a cool piece of metal. I don't think anybody's been in here in about a hundred years. Dude. That's where we camped and woke up this morning and then we looped all the way, came all the way up to that point. It took about four to six hours to go down this. Came down to the bottom and there was a bridge right there. And now we're here. We're just gonna go for it. We're going to the truck. Send her out There's here. not a single bugle. 
after our 15 mile hike through hell and now we're gonna have to cross the river because we're stupid. <laughs> so hopefully we make it, if not, fuck. <laughs> Alright, that's how you do a proper death march. <laughs> Working at a 9 to 5 pace. What a real bad that taste. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>